Okay, I wanted to take a, take a moment here and talk about the drawer fronts. Um, when I took these old pine shelves out of the church, they were just sitting up on L brackets, um, the gentleman, or group of guys, I don't even know who built this, this was probably built 30 years ago, um, all, they, they put these really nice OG profiles on the front of these, on the front of these shelves. And I thought, hey, it would be cool to, you know, I have a bunch of it left over, from cutting down these drawers that maybe we could use it somehow. Um, so, like I had these cutoffs that were kind of narrow and I had a few that were wider. And what I did was I put it in the saw and I just trimmed it down uh, to get that, that round over. See, I don't know if you can see that, but that round over right there. And uh, make it real thin too because the plywood I'm using for the drawer fronts is like 3 8 or less. Um, and then the this is how it turned out. I used some of that that OG uh, that those scraps with that OG profile to kind of just add a little bit of detail to the drawer front. Once this is all painted in uniform with the handle in the middle, I think it should look pretty nice, and it fits well underneath that little piece of molding that I put on the front. Okay, we have the door hung now. Uh, the hinges I used were just some old door hinges. Uh, I threw them up on the wire. I threw them up on the wire wheel. Took off all the polyurethane and the gold finish. I didn't think gold was going to look as nice, so I just ground that all off. The door uh, swings really nicely. There's some magnetic catches that hold it closed. I do have to tweak those a little bit. I'm going to take care of that later. Right now, what I want to do is we need to clean this off. Uh, with some TSP and then we're just going to hit the areas that had polyurethane on them, these two uh, old pantry doors. I'm going to hit those with a little bit of uh, high bond primer and then we're going to paint the whole thing with some latex and I'm going to put a knob here for opening and closing and then we got to figure out some drawer pulls. But um, for now I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far and I cannot wait to see it all finished up. Okay, um, I just wanted to stop and take a minute to just, uh, these, the drawers, I'm going to be putting these knobs on the drawers. I had a bunch of them, some were brass, some were stainless, so I went ahead and I just painted them with some hammer finish paint that I had, 
Um, so what I did, each drawer is a little bit different. I think two of them are almost identical, but one of them is definitely a little shallow or a little narrower, shallower. So uh, in order to position the knob, the hole where I'm going to drill the hole, I just made this real quick little, this little uh, jig. It just has a line on it. I just line it up. I marked the center here. You can't see it from the camera, but I marked a real small light mark just so I could position that and I can drill my hole. And then on the other side, I did the same thing. I, uh, I put a little mark. I just line up the line. Drill my hole. And once I get the screws in, those knobs will go like that. And we'll be done with the drawers. Okay, that's going to be it for this project. It, it came out awesome. I'm so excited. Everything on this project was from scrap. The doors came out of an old, our old pantry upstairs. This uh, side panel of this door was from uh, my bedroom, uh, from the room I uh, grew up in. And the rest of it, just shelves and drawer slides and poles that were laying around. I had a bunch of poles, like drawer poles. They were all different. Some were brass, some were stainless. I just threw a coat of uh, hammer finish on them. It turned out excellent. We have uh, the clothes now do fall directly into the basket. They stay out of the shop, and the shop dust and stuff stays out of the clothes. Perfect. Down here I have these drawers. I'm going to be able to take everything from my old chest of drawers, put them down into these drawers, and uh, it's, just, it's just really great. I hope this inspires you to look through your scrap bin or to just see some old doors or old whatever laying around and come up with ideas to, of how you could use them to uh, improve your space. Um, down here, my shop is a mess. There's a lot of organization that needs to be done. But this is a good first step, and I'm really, really happy with it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment, a like, subscribe, and have a great day.